and in this way we can create a card view and an animation such that it expands and collapses in your Flutter application. In this vlog, we are going to deal with the implementation of a card view animation in your Flutter application. And here we are not going to use any third party libraries, but we are going to make use of inbuilt Flutter widgets and try to create an animation such that whenever you tap on a card view, then it will expand and again collapse back to that particular card shape again. So now let's try to implement this particular animation in your Flutter application. So now let's get started. So here, this is a basic skeleton code which we have for every project when we so whenever we try to create a new project in flutter so here instead of the placeholder i'm going to replace this with the material app here so inside the material app i'm going to specify scaffold here and inside the scaffold we generally have an appa here appa specification and here we can just specify the title with the help of a text widget and here i'm going to expand and here i'm going to specify the title like expansion or expanded card view okay so this is the basic theme of this particular tutorial and here you can just try adding const here and now let's try to specify the body here as well and i'm going to consider a container for now and inside this particular container let us try to specify a gesture detector as a child here so why i'm specifying gesture detector because whenever we tap on that particular card I just want the animation to be expanded and also whenever you are making use of a card view like card widgets here then to implement a tab functionality then we need to make use of a gesture detector here so here we are going to make use of a gesture detector now so now in the gesture detector we have an option like on tap here on double tap and all these different options like on double tap cancel tap on so here we are going to make use of on tap here and in the on tap we are going to specify a navigation now so we are going to navigate to a different screen when we tap on this when we tap on this particular widget so navigator dot off here we need to specify the context when we specify the context now we got the options like push pop pop until pop and push name and all these different options we need we can make use of so here i just want to make use of push here and then i will specify the screen to which our push should navigate us so here i'm going to make use of a page builder and now here with the help of page road builder here now we are going to navigate and here we just also need an animation while navigating so here i'm specifying these empty values and then we will have a screen like a details screen here so when you tap on a particular card then this should navigate us to this particular detail screen and here you can see the error we don't have any detail screen right now and so we need to create a detail screen class event so quickly we are going to create a stateless widget like a detail screen here and now let's try to create a card now so this is the first part in the gesture detector we have specified the on tap and within the gesture detector itself we need to specify the card now so here we are going to make use of a card here and from here this is a similar thing when you make use of a card how you specify all the required parameters here so it's considered to be the similar of that so quickly i'm going to specify the margin here and edge inserts dot on all sides here so i'm quickly going to specify the margin on all the sides and here even the card will have the child here inside which i am going to specify inside which i am going to specify a text widget and here i am going to specify it's like tap to open so this is the basic message and also you can make this card like const here because we have no or dynamical changes we we don't change any data here inside the card or regarding the card so 
I am just trying to make it like const just to avoid those warning messages and I just want this particular text to be in the center inside the card here so I am going to wrap it with the center and also I just want some I just want the card to have some size here so I am going to wrap it with a widget and this widget is going to be size box here and you already knew from our previous tutorials like size box will accept a height and width here so we are going to specify the height and width as well and so both of them like 120 i am specifying here now it looks good inside the card and we have like specify the margin and the size box with 120 on height and width here and also a child like a text widget so we got some message so that user can tap on this particular card here and also we can specify the color here and i want the color to be a uh, black 45 here so not completely black or a light color in black but i just want to a medium range in black here and now let's try to run this particular code and try to check the output like how this thing looks currently okay so here i have only specified so now let's try to run this particular code and try to check the output like how this thing how this thing looks on the simulator so i'm trying to quickly run this particular code here and now here you can see and now here you can see the output like the card is appearing on the top left here and somewhere we are missing the center okay so let's try to wrap this card or this particular container here let's try to wrap this particular container in the center here and now let's try to rerun this particular code and yes this is now in the center of the screen and here you can see we can tap on this particular card but we have not specified any information in the detail screen and also the same we are getting an issue here the context used to push or pop routes to the navigator must be that of the widget that is descendant of the navigator widget okay fine so now let's try to so here the issue what we are facing is like directly we are trying to navigate from my app here so i just want to have one more class here instead of my app i just want this to be home class here so here this is the home class and now let us try to create a my app class here and from here we are going to redirect to the home class now so again the same changes we are going to make here and also you can add const here and also i will try to move this material app and scaffold everything into the my app widget here instead of home widget so now here i have removed this particular material app and moved it to the top level class here and now we got like two classes like home and detail screen here so now let's try to add some information to this particular detail screen so first of all we are going to return a container here and inside this particular container let us try to specify the gesture detector again and here in the gesture detector let's try to specify on tap and in this particular on tap here we are going to specify the navigator so that we move back to the previous screen navigator dot of context here and simply we can just specify pop here so that the current screen is being closed and we are being moved back to the previous screen so here this is what we can specify in the gesture detector and the second thing what we need to specify is like in the child we need to specify the hero here so the hero widget here is an inbuilt widget using which we can make this particular animation work in our flutter application so here i am going to specify the hero widget and in the child again we need to specify the text widget here so just something needs to be present on the screen so that's why i am specifying this text widget here and also here you are trying to see an error in the hero widget so let's try to address it as well so here i am going to specify it's like detail screen and here the error is regarding the tag here you need to specify the tag and make sure you specify the same name for both the tags 
and for the DAX again here in the detail screen we'll be having an hero widget here and also in the home class also we will be having a hero widget so now let's try to specify card hero i'm just trying to specify here you can specify any name here i'm just going to specify card hero and also we need to wrap this particular card here inside this hero widget again and here we need to wrap this particular card widget again inside the hero widget here and the same tag we need to specify here as well so here we are done with the code mostly we have covered everything now let's try to run this particular code and see the output once and also one more thing what i would like to have is like the color for the container so in the home widget we have specified like black fortify right so i'm going to specify the same color here and now let's try to run this particular code and let's try to tap on this particular card now and try to observe the animation the animation is working but inside the detail screen this is not apt here so we are not able to get the perfect output now so here I want to wrap this particular container into scaffold and here instead of child let us try to specify this like a body here and also move this color from container to the hero widget here and here this particular text widget to and the child I am going to specify a column here and this particular column will have multiple children and that's it so now let's try to run this particular code and here you can see like we are now able to expand the widget and also we can collapse this particular widget so and in this way we can create a card view and an animation such that it expands and collapse in your flutter application so the code for this tutorial i'm going to provide in the description section below and if you are having any queries in this particular implementation do let me know in the comment section below and if you like this tutorial do like share and subscribe to our channel for more interesting content on flutter